So we often hear within our community that there are certain groups of people who are more vulnerable to being, uh, who are more prone to being abused by a narcissist, uh, people who, uh, groups of people who are more vulnerable. And the most vulnerable people to the narcissist are the type of people who are uh, kind, forgiving, compassionate, hardworking, devoted and loving, caring and nurturing as the narcissist seeks out people who are the opposite of what they truly are behind the mask due to their years of being able to manipulate others to serve their agenda they specifically target the right people for them let's say for instance you have just come out of a rocky relationship a narcissist may come in and pretend to act like that person's hero and saving grace these people have already the victims have already endured toxicity in a past partner so they are very easily vulnerable to people like the narcissist who feed off of their brokenness from possibly being with a, nar a previous narcissist they will come off like they are the person you have been waiting for your entire life, like the man or woman of your dreams. And they will give you all of their time and attention, making you feel like you have finally found your one true love. And they will get to know all your secrets, your fears, your insecurities, and your weaknesses, your strengths. And then before you know it, they will use all of those things against you and hurt you worse than any other person who has ever wronged you in the past. The uh, narcissist may also seek out people who are married. It is not uncommon for them to have supplies who are already in committed relationships. And maybe it's a friend they've known for a long time and they know about issues that they are having with their current partner. They could take their side and act like they care and tell them that they deserve better. They will groom them to basically fall for them so they end up cheating on their partners with the narcissist. And once they have used up everything that they have and they've got what they wanted, they will discard um, this person. And usually those things are like money or sex or attention. And meanwhile, they will totally disregard the fact that they were equal, equally responsible for having an affair with a married person while that person is left alone to deal with the aftermath, having lost both people which will more than likely uh, end up with their marriage falling apart because their spouse or their significant other found out about the affair with the narcissist. And um, they target these types of people because they maybe they have a feeling, um, they can sense this sense of uh, emptiness and loneliness in their current relationship. And they feed off of that energy and they use it to their advantage. A narcissist has absolutely zero boundaries when it comes to who they wish to target. They will have sex with anyone and everyone. As long as it can walk, they will have sex with it. Even if they have a primary source of supply in place doing everything for them, they will 99% of the time, not all narcissists cheat, but most of them, 99% of them cheat. They will have no problems living comfortably having someone serve them and worship them while they go out and find someone else to fool around with. And I know that my narcissist most certainly did. They will target people who are easily hooked on to the narcissist and they will keep their primary supply devoted to them because they know all of the things to do and all of the things to say to keep them and get them under their control and have make it so that they never leave them. And this is their perfect scenario for them. It's the best of both worlds. They get to have their cake and eat it too, which is all a narcissist wants. A partner who is their enabler, a slave, a doormat, a bank, a caretaker, while they do whatever with whoever they want without any consequences whatsoever. 
There are some narcissists who will target people who have money. Perhaps they are going through some financial hardships and they will go online and find maybe a widow or a widower who has lost their spouse and this person is lonely and they just want companionship. And the narcissist will manipulate this person pretending to care all while clearing out their bank account and finding someone else on the side to have their sexual needs met. They they even love the thrill and the chase of going after people who are independent and have a strong confidence in who they are. They love nothing more than to find somebody like that and then they will quickly bring them down to their knees, turn them into a completely different person by the time that they are done with them. And someone who's now ashamed, broken, insecure, and has low self-esteem due to being damaged by the narcissist. It is a sick, twisted, and sadistic game to them and that is all it will ever be.